Our live pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team coverage continues now. Earl is already leaving its mark on some of the state's roadways. Debris from the ocean has already closed a road on Aquidneck Island. From the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, I was news reporter Stephen Schuler is live in Newport. Well, Karen, we do have some breaking news here in Newport. I just got off the phone with the fire chief, and he tells me Ocean Drive is closed from Harrison Avenue all the way down to the water, and that's because seaweed and debris have made their ways onto the roadway. They're also trying to keep people away from the breakwater and the surf. Now, here along Fort Adams, things are a little calmer. Take a look at Newport Harbor, where winds are picking up, making the surf a little choppier. And while the waves are breathtaking, local officials tell us Earl is already causing some dangerous conditions. It was a surfer's paradise at Easton's Beach in Newport, also known as First Beach, but the growing waves forced public safety officials to shut down the shoreline and close coastal roads early this afternoon. There were hundreds of people, there were cars all over the place, and that was a real safety concern too because there's no organization down here. In Middletown, police set up blockades, keeping spectators away from second and third beaches. In the middle of the low-lying area, Second Beach Campground, where dozens of people were forced to evacuate. It took us about a couple hours to get everything uh, kind of fortified here, and we're, we're hoping, we're not pulling it, so we're hoping the, uh, the floodwaters doesn't get uh, too high. Carl Rudder and his wife were the last to leave their camper. They're now heading back home to North Attleboro to wait out the storm. We're heading back to the, to the mainland and, uh, for... Uh, 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 weather the night and we're going to come down tomorrow and see how things fare. And we've learned an emergency shelter is now open in Middletown at the Gaudet Middle School on Turner Road. Now again, several road closures reported here in Newport and in Middletown. Officials are asking people to obey those roadblocks and to keep a safe distance from the water. Live in Newport with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.